a lot of gold for some stuff though okay so oh oh my chameleon ring of dexterity plus one to hide skill dexterity plus one ring of ooh, a ring of protection on traveler's robe uh, plus one versus missile. Uh, saving throw bonus, plus one fortitude. And a shield, a shield amulet. Uh, can cast the spell shield. Elven sewn gloves. Oh. Huh. Let's see, an amulet of protection, plus one. Staff of corrosion. Ooh. Masterwork dagger, goblin hunter. You a dagger with a small blade, so yes, a dagger. Uh, Sash of the Back Raven? Uh, plus one attack bonus to all attacks. Immunity to Confusion. Not usable by... Oh. Oh, so only the monk can use it. Okay. Girdle, or girdle of... Beatific beatif beatification? Wears under the effects of a blessed spell while equipped. Oh. Interesting. Tread lightly boost. Who silently skill plus one. Ooh. He could definitely use that. Pipes of the wheezing dragon. Oh, that's like a that's a bard item. I don't have a bard this time around. Ha ha ha. All righty then. Hmm, braces of defense plus two. Oh, wait. Does, doesn't somebody have like an item that needs to be identified? Wait, what the? Oh, okay. That's why I was like, what? Why is that one more expensive than this one? Uh, like, okay. So learning about some of the stuff. Okay, so for, I suppose we can at least buy like one or two um, spells. So that way he can learn the eagles. Uh, charisma. Uh, bonus to charisma of 1d4 plus 1 points, adding the usual benefits to charisma based skills and abilities. That's pretty good. Is there... Okay. It covers the ground of a slippery layer of, uh, of a fatty, greasy nature. Any creature entering the area or continent when the spell is cast must make reflex save every round or have their movement rate slow to a crawl as long as they are in the area of effect. Okay, so... Grease is still pretty bad in this one. It's still pretty bad. It's literally not until... Um, 3.5, I think, where Grease gets better. Ooh, Cat's Grace. Or you are a uh, level... Oh. Damn. Mel's Acid Arrow, though. I think I might just go ahead and buy that. Oh. Oh, 900. Almost a K for haste. Bleh. All right, fine. All right, uh, the bye. Sure. Mm -hmm. What can I do for you? Sounds good to me. I have a scroll here that I took from one of the goblin sappers. Could you identify it for me? Oh, thank God it's only 50 and not 100. Identify. 
Mm, this charred vellum scroll looks like it was once a teleportation scroll, but the spell has either been exhausted or was miscast when it was used. The scroll smells faintly of ash, brimstone, and an eye-watering uh, variety of goblin smells. Oh my. That's, uh... Interesting. Can you tell me from uh, uh, tell me what this brimstone scroll might have been used for? Let me see. Hmm, it looks like a spell that was miscast, a teleportation spell, perhaps. Except, except <clears throat> that this scroll is one of a pair. It seems that it can be used to teleport a group to someone holding the other scroll, provided the wielder knows something of spellcraft. That would explain why Fane attacked us when he saw the scroll. Then, he must have been behind the attack. Fane attacked you? So he was behind this betrayal then. Uh, Targus might have fallen when the goblin attacked the docks and mm, had you not been there to stop them. You have my thanks and and the thanks of my husband. It was our pleasure. Oh, oh god. It was our pleasure. Uh, though I think Fane thought us to be easy victims. Uh, please take the, these as payment for your service. I feel uh, I feel now more than ever that as long as you stand in Targos's defense, the goblins shall be turned back and the town saved. The tenants of my faith preclude me from accepting this much wealth. Please keep your gold and see... What? Uh, n uh, no. No. Good as gold. Okay, thank you. I was wondering if you might help me with another matter. I was wondering if you could tell me what this ghost touch bottle might be used for. Perhaps. Let me take a closer look. Here you are. How curious. The potion is only water, and as you noted, the enchantment stems from the bottle itself. It has been touched by the spirit. Uh, ghost touch, as it is sometimes called. What do you mean? Uh, oh, oh, God. I really hate this thing. Um, the bottle can hold the essence of the ethereal plane inside, the substance of, of ghosts and spirits. What would such a bottle be used for? In truth, I have no idea. It would depend on the enchanter. The bottle would have much mm, greater worth if it held some of the ethereal plane within it. Why is that? Enchantments carried by the ethereal realm can be quite potent. A ghost-touched item might be made mm, from even the smallest trace of a spirit's essence. Would the tears of a ghost ever serve? A ghost serve? Why, yes, it could, but... Ah, I see where your question leads. Are you thinking of the haunting of the weeping widow? I had thought about it. Can you tell me anything about the spirit that haunts that inn? Little except that Cal Hyred, the innkeeper, has told me. The ghost of, the, of a woman is said to haunt the upper stories of the inn at night, waiting for her husband's return. I believe she is said to have sailed out onto the lake many years ago. Uh, and never returned. Consumed by grief, the woman hurled herself from the upper story of the inn. Do you think it might be possible to, uh, to obtain a tear from her? If you intend to coax a tear from the spirit, you will have to find some means of setting, uh, setting her heart to rest first. Otherwise, dealing with her may prove difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Farewell. A gold necklace, too. 
I'm so happy I switched oh, characters. I guess if you think this is best, <laughs> it's okay with I me. was not gonna let. <sighs> I'm so used to using the WASD keys for direction. I'm pressing all four of them and not doing anything. It's sad. Ah, fuck up, camper. We gotta do this. The game apparently is fantastic, and we're gonna we're, we're gonna play this game and see how fantastic it is. Okay, so we need to head to here. No, over a bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it, Errol. Thank you. Sure. The Weeping Widow Inn. Jeez. Yeah, our paladin nearly just lost us all that money. Good thing I made a hard... Good thing I saved beforehand. Sounds okay, let's try talking to you for a second. Ah, uh, yeah, but we identified the, um, the, uh, that potion Column gave you. It's a ghost-touched bottle. Ghost-touched bottle, but... Mm, what are the potion inside? Only the bottle was enchanted. It's supposed to be able to hold pieces of an ethereal plane inside, but there was only water inside, not a potion. That damned priest, I knew it was worthless. Uh, well, thank, uh, thank you for your uh, for your efforts, but I'd rather such a thing be kept from far from me. I'd sooner keep anything touched by spirits away from me. I would. Glad I could help you. Everyone leveled up. Yeah! The first level up, Jack. Ah, uh, level two. Now to curiosity. Okay, so it is gonna. Okay, 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 okay. Boop. First character, Paladin. She's got to go to 3,000 to level up right now. Next level, 1,000. Hold on, hold on. First off, level up. Paladin. All right, Paladin's warrior. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Paladins may use lay on hands one of the, oh, once a day. Lay on hands heals the target for a number of hit points equals to the paladin's charisma modifier times their paladin level. I forgot about that. Minimum one hit. So three times two heals six. Okay. Uh, at second level, smite evil once per day. The paladin may now attempt to smite evil with one normal melee attack. He adds his charisma modifier, if positive, to his attack roll and deals one extra point of damage per level. I forgot how much I hate... I hate... And I forgot how much I hate smite. But that's okay. But can level Aura of Courage. Paladins become immune to fear and allies within... 10 feet receive a bonus of plus four to saving throws against fear effects. Now, when do we cast spells? Fourth level spell, fourth level. Okay. Fourth level, Chad. Fourth level. All right, next. Skill point, one. Diplomacy. Next. Next up is 6,000. Let's see the difference. Oh, wait, this is gonna be yeah, that's gonna... Uh, two of my party members are gonna take a while to level up. But you know what? That's okay. Level up. Monk. Next. Um... Do, 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 do. Only one point, huh? Those who can do move silently. Next. Uh, Level up. Barbarian all the way, because that's really all she's going to be doing the entire time. Intimidate? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, like that's all she's going to have is intimidate. It's going to be great. going to do a lot of damage. 
Okay, you're up. Level up. Uh, rogue. Proficient with all simple weapons. The martial weapon level. Uh -huh. Okay, so do 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 do. Um, let us go. Oh, six points. So what's one, two, three, four, five, six? Oh, okay, yeah. Just all the ones we actually. Yeah. Okay. Boop. Done. It's gonna be a while before him to level up, though. I'm starting to realize that giving him tiefling might have screwed things up for him. Oh, this is not gonna be good. So they need 2,000 XP to level up. They're gonna need 3,000 XP to level up. Oh, this is gonna be great. Going to be great. Okay, another level one wizard. Five. Alchemy. Okay, uh, 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 yes. Spellcraft, obviously. Knowledge Arcana. Concentration. Oh, 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 and one more point. Oh, one more point. Oh, I can't put my point anywhere. Oh, no. Well, all right. Leveled up. And level up. Uh, Ranger, level up. Four, one, two, three, and four. Yeah, sure. Doot, 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 doot. Yeah, we'll do that. Boom. All right. <sighs> All right. Leveling up is going to be very interesting. Very, very interesting. Because real soon, my paladin, the pal the paladin and the rogue are going to be an entire level behind. Surely. Anyways. Okay. Let's go. Boop. So what is this? This is uh do 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 Effective character level three basically is what he is. What is what she is. Which is great. Oh, you're right. Sweet. How many hit points do you gain? You one hit point per level. So minimum two HP per level. Yay! Okay. Um. Oh god, really? Zero HP? So literally it's just the die roll? Alrighty then. We'll see about that. Yes? Okay. I trust you. Oh, I cannot... I'm oh, ready. oh, at night. I gotta do it at night. Must do it at night. So we'll go me. ahead and, and uh, press. And rent. Yes. Up we go. I'll get right on it. Nothing? Really? Hour 16. Okay. One more rest, chat. One more rest. And we can continue we'll onwards. Do, 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 do. Boom. Yeah. 
Here it is. Come on. Come on. There we go. Good enough. You just, okay. I trust you. I found a piece of Donovan's ship. Now, oh, Vera, I hope that knowledge of his fate may bring you peace. So death has returned. Uh, so death has returned to death. A husband's promise at last fulfilled. His fate shall anchor mine no longer. Uh, rest now, Vera. Let yourself move on to the Death's Realm, as was intended. First, a debt must be settled. As you return to my husband to, to me, I will return a boon in kind. A boon? And from my lips, a warning to you. The sign of the Chimera comes to Targos. It will devour you if you do not take action. Chimera, what do you mean? You fail your quest, many shall perish. The dead of Targos shall outnumber the living, and this city shall become but a memory. And for my sake, for the sake of my husband, protect Targos from what comes, or more widows' tears shall be shed. Very well, I'll take your words to heart. I'll... Long have I waited for my husband's return. I will help you by um, keeping watch here until such time as I can pay my debt in full. Perhaps you can help me now. Mm, could you shed one last tear for me? I have an enchanted vial to hold it in. If my sorrow will aid you, so be it. It is a small matter to allow my grief to coax one last tear from me. Please. Thank you. Wow, good god. 400 XP for that? Jeez. Uh, it is done for now. Farewell. For now? We shall meet again in a kingdom far from this one. I shall not forget what you have done for me. Oh, well, farewell, Vera. Hold on. Talk to him first. I put the woman's spirit at ease. You shouldn't hear any more weeping from now on. Hey, Trilly? Golly. We're just getting old. This is what happens when you do side quests. So much XP. All right. By the way, chat. Uh, if, you're, if you know the answer to this, what is the max... XP count or level you can get in uh, Icewind Dale 2. Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. Uh, I'll bring in her miracles, you are. I'm blessed I am for your efforts. Thank you, friend. Uh, thank you greatly. It pleased me to help you and the spirit. No thanks are necessary. I shall speak of you. I shall. Everyone in Tarakos soon know how much you've helped me now. And thank you again, friend. Uh, a helpful hand in these ti uh, difficult times is worth its weight in gold. I must make my leave. Farewell. All right. Okay. I trust you. What seems to be the problem? Actually, a spoke, uh, sp uh, spokesperson, Albrecht, commissioned a load of lumber from Lonelywood, and I had made an arrangement with him to have it shipped to the Palisade, but I am uh, mm, woefully short-handed. I am bound by a gold penalty if I cannot get the lumber to the whales. We could help you haul it there if you need help. I would need two score of men to get there, and the crane itself is useless, so I cannot even haul more up the cliff. Mm, cliff face. Damn it all. I never should have taken this contract. What's wrong with the crane? My question exactly. I can't find no one surviving its use, nor anyone to see about making it work again. By the gods, my anger's fit the split, uh, fit to split me in two. Well, if we find someone who can, we'll send an assistant. There we go. All right, so. I 
I do like how like the entire movement system is sped up. I really do like that about them. Now I can't wait to see how it looks with haste. Oh God. Sure. All right. All right, I had a question for you, uh, for you Colum. Can you tell us what the potion you gave to Calhydra is? It is not for me to say. I will only say that it is more than enough to pay for my rooms at the inn. Yes. Indeed, a ghost touch bottle is quite valuable. Yes, yes. What? What is it you said about the bottle? Ghost touch. I mean, the water inside the bottle is useless. But the real enchantment is the bottle itself. Cal Herod didn't know what the what he had at first. The bottle's ghost touch, but Hmm, yeah. It surprised me as well. For a moment I thought you had tried to dupe the innkeeper by paying him with a flask of water, but a ghost touch bottle is something else entirely. I imagine it's worth quite a bit of gold, isn't it? Uh, yes, quite useful. Such a thing. <laughs> it seems I was over generous on my gift. Innkeeper may keep it with my good graces. What could such a bottle be used for? Uh, take it to the spirit in the weeping willow. He remains. Put one of her tears inside, and you may use it in use it in enchantments. Ask Ulbrich's wife, the elven woman enchantress. She knows of such things. I see. I had some other questions for you. Can you tell me anything? Uh, tell us anything about the spirit of the, that haunts the weeping widow inn? I heard a spirit weeping in the willow. Uh, do, 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 it was broken a long time ago. What about that? You know, because, you know, but because I detest poetry, I simply... Okay, we were... Is that it? Okay, that's it. Alright, so I guess we'll come back later. Certainly. Huh. Get right on it. Do 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 boop. You have returned. It is good to see you. See you are well. Is there any something else I can help you with? We have obtained a tear from the ghost that haunts the weeping widow, and we're wondering if you could make use of it. So you were able to set the spirit to rest. Then this is a welcome news, indeed. It would be my pleasure to help you. May I see the tear you have brought? Here you are. What can you what can be made of it? Indeed, it depends on what you wish to do with it. If you want to part with it, I can offer you five hundred gold for it, or if you wish, I may use it to enchant a small blade for you, a dagger perhaps. Not my bastard sword. The dagger would carry some of the magic of the ethereal plane and some of the essence of the spirit as well. There is some unpredictability in such matters, unfortunately. Oh, 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 oh. Huh. Um, I quick I saved beforehand, so I'll take the dagger. Oh nope. Okay. Uh, plus one, plus two for special undead. Okay, enchantment plus two, which is weird, but I guess it's because of that mm, damage type piercing, five percent chance for an additional one point of magic damage. When target is hit. No, thank you. I'll get right on it. You are correct, of course. As a reward for laying that woman's soul to rest, I would be willing to add a sum of my own top own top of the base price with seven hundred. Sounds fair to me. Here is yours. Here you are. 
Yeah. Okay, let's also take a look at... Oh, right. I gotta... It's weird. I... Why doesn't it just add it right to my sums instead of just put it just... That doesn't make any sense. Why doesn't it just add to my sum instead of just putting it into my inventory? Oh, what do we want? Ring of protection sounds nice. Ring of animal friendship sounds nice. Oh, scroll case. Oh, wrong person. We definitely want that. Boom. Um, okay. What do... What do we want? Smash the Black Raven. Plus one attack bonus to all attacks. Immunity to the confusion and feeble mind. Yeah, this is a this right here is a monk weapon. Um, I need two hundred more gold in order to buy it. Now, what do you do again? Oh, that's right. Oh, what the hell? Oh, pipes. Uh, boots of the north. Oh. 